Hi, first grade. Today we're back again for another math lesson, and today we're going to talk about number patterns. What I'm going to ask you to have for this math lesson is your dry erase board, your dry erase marker, and a tissue or eraser to wipe your board, and that's it. We're going to do more so writing today and less using our cubes, okay? So there's a couple big things that we will have to talk about in terms of number patterns, and I will show you what I'm talking about in just a moment when I share my screen. All righty. Okay, on our page right here, we are going to learn about number patterns. And there are two types of number patterns. There are increasing number patterns, and there are decreasing number patterns. Increasing number patterns means that the numbers get greater or bigger as they go forwards, and decreasing number patterns mean that the numbers get smaller or they end up being less lesser numbers as they go through, okay? And what we need to identify is two major things. Number one, whether that number pattern is increasing or decreasing, and then number two would be by how many. They are either going to be increasing or decreasing by one or by two. Okay, so for example, let's look at number one. It's a, it says, what comes next in the number pattern? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, let's stop for a second. Is that number pattern increasing or decreasing? Very good, it's increasing, right? As you go forwards, those numbers are getting greater, okay? And then by how many are they increasing each time? Good, by just one, right? It's like you're normally counting. So that next number in the number pattern would be 16 because one more than 15 is 16. Very good. All right, let's look at number two. Number two says seven, nine, 11, 13, 15. Is this an increasing number pattern or a decreasing number pattern? Very good, it's an increasing number pattern because again, those numbers are increasing each time. Those numbers are becoming greater. Very good. Now, help me with this one. Is this one increasing by one or by two each time? Very good, by two, because we know that after seven, the number that comes after seven is actually eight, but what they have listed is nine. So that means that when we are at the number 15 here, we are going to have to actually increase by two. And what is two more than 15? Very good, 17. You'd think 15, 16, 17. Very, very good. Alrighty, let's take a look at number three. Number three's number pattern is 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Is this number pattern increasing or decreasing? Very good, it's decreasing, right? Those numbers are becoming smaller or lesser as we are going forwards. And how, by how many? By one or by two? Good, just by one, right? When you're counting backwards, that's how you count. You count backwards by one, those are the numbers that would be in that order. So when we are thinking what is one less than 13, we are thinking the number is 12. Very good, 12 is one less than 13. So 12 would be that number that would come next in the number pattern. All righty, and then they have one more example for us, and then we're going to do some together. The next example says 19, 17, 16, or sorry, 19, 17, 15, 13, 11. Is this number pattern increasing or decreasing? Good, it's decreasing. Those numbers are becoming smaller or lesser. And is it decreasing by one or two? Very good, by two, because we took that big jump from 19 all the way to 17. And we know that 18 really is one less than 19, but two less than 19 is 17. So then we're thinking, what is two less than 11? Two less than 11 would be nine. Nice job. All righty, we are going to do some examples together. We are actually going to look right here at number two. And I am going to ask you to write this out in just a moment. Let me write it and then I will show you how I want you to write it, okay? All right, 
Here's what I want you to write on your dry erase board. I want you to write 10 comma, 11 comma, 12 comma, 13 comma, and then line comma, line comma, line, okay? Those lines are where we are going to fill in numbers, okay? All right, let's go ahead and talk. So first let's identify, is this an increasing or a decreasing number pattern and how do we know that? Good, it's increasing. How do we know that it's increasing? Good, because the numbers are becoming greater as we move forwards. And now our last question before we can fill in those numbers is by how many? By one or by two? Good, just by one. It's like we're normally counting, right? 10, 11, 12, 13. What number comes after 13? Good, 14. What number comes after 14? Very good, 15. And lastly, what number comes after 15? Good, 16. So that would be how we would complete that number pattern. Nice job. Go ahead and erase your board and let's take a look at another example. All righty, let's do number three. I'm going to have you set your board up in just a second again. All right, just like last time, I'm going to have you write five comma, seven comma, nine comma, 11 comma, line comma, line comma, line. Go ahead and do that now. And then we will talk about this number pattern also. All right, let's talk about first, is this number pattern increasing or decreasing? Good, it's increasing. And we know that because those numbers are becoming greater as we move forwards. Now, is it increasing by one or two? Good, by two, because the number that comes after five is six, right? And six is not listed, seven is listed, and two more than five is seven. So we know that every time it's increasing by two. So right now we are thinking, what is two more than 11? And you can use your fingers to help you, right? So you could have them start here, you could say 11, 12, 13. That would help you to make sure that you counted up by two. So 13 would go on that line, then we would do that again. 13, 14, 15, good. 15 would go on that line, and then we would count again. 15, 16, 17, good. 17 would go on that line right there. Very good. All right, we have two more problems that we are going to do, okay? Let's go ahead and do number four. We're going to set our boards up, again, very similar to how we've been setting it up for the last couple problems. I will show you in just a moment, okay? Here's how I would like you to set up your board. 20 comma, 19 comma, 18 comma, 17 comma, line comma, line. So just two lines this time, okay? And now let's talk about again, is this an increasing or a decreasing number pattern? Very good, it's decreasing, right? Because we see that those numbers are becoming smaller or lesser as they go down. And by how many? By one or by two? Good, just by one every time. So you see it goes 20, 19, 18, 17. What number comes before 17 or is one less than 17? Good, 16. And then what number is one less than 16? Very good, 15. So those would be the numbers that would complete our number pattern. Very good. Okay, last thing I wanna talk about. If you are ever given a set of some numbers, say you're given like 10, 11, 12, or here, let me do some different numbers. Go ahead and write these numbers with me. Say you're given seven, nine, eight, six, and 10, okay? And you are told, write two different number patterns, okay? There's two different number patterns you can write with these numbers. You can write an increasing number pattern and you can write a decreasing number pattern. Whenever you're writing an increasing number pattern, you will start with the number that is the least, that holds the least value or is the smallest number or the lesser number. What number would that be of these numbers right here? What is our smallest or least number here? Very good, the number six. So the number six would go first. And then you would have the next number. You'd put seven, eight, 
nine, 10, right? That would be an increasing number pattern by one of you just counting forwards, including all of these numbers, okay? When you're doing a decreasing number pattern, you have to start with your greatest number. What is your greatest number on this list? Good, 10. So you'd start with 10 and then you'd count backwards by one, right? Or put the number that's one less every time. So it'd go 10, nine, eight, seven, six. So that's how you would make sure that you are recording you know, those two separate number patterns, one increasing and one decreasing. Your increasing number pattern always starts with your least number and ends with your greatest number. Your decreasing number pattern always starts with your greatest number and ends with your least number, okay? All right, let's go ahead and talk about our assignment for today. It goes along with what we worked on together, what we worked on together today. All right, it is page 113, okay? For number one, number two, and number three, you are writing the missing numbers in each number pattern. So it's super important that you first identify, is this number pattern increasing or decreasing, okay? It'll be increasing if you see those numbers are getting greater as you move forwards. It'll be decreasing if you see that those numbers are getting smaller or lesser as you move forwards, okay? And then once you've decided on that, you have to say, well, is it increasing or decreasing by one or two? Okay, once you have that information, then you just need to figure out based on that what those numbers are. And something else that you can use to help you is your counting tape. Feel free to use your counting tape to help you get a visual of where those numbers are located. Okay, so that's for number one, two, and three. You're just completing the number patterns. Number four is just like what we just did. You're given a set of numbers and you have to create two patterns with four numbers, okay? It says you may use a number more than once, all right? So there's no problem with that. And I'm going to give you a hint. Try and make one of your number patterns an increasing number pattern and one of your number patterns a decreasing number pattern, okay? That will help you out with being able to figure out what your two number patterns are, okay? All right, then you'll go ahead and take a picture of this, post it directly onto your Class Dojo portfolio, and I'm looking forward to seeing your amazing work, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye, first grade.